can't believe that this is happening right now. Are you excited to meet him? Oh, he's so cute. This is us about to meet our baby. Nine months ago, we got pregnant by surprise just four months after having our first. We told our family and they were just as shocked as we were. And then we found out that we were having another boy. So our story begins the night before the big day. Moments after my wife coated her entire body in self tanner. You look like you jumped in a pile of dirt. I don't want to look good when I meet him. Any last words? I look so great. <laughs> My last night sleeping with a huge belly. <sighs> this is what we're gonna look like for the next six weeks. Our whole room is finished though. I love that our whole, we got a nice cozy TV. None of this was here last year. We didn't even have this picture frame on the wall. We got the bassinet right over here. Crazy that we're gonna have a baby in that bassinet here in just a couple of days. Let's get some sleep. Tomorrow's a big day. Nighty night. The morning of the C-section felt oddly normal. I feel like we're the type of people that don't process things until they've already happened. Last night was the final night of us getting uninterrupted sleep for probably the next three, four months. Just wanted to soak that in. I'm gonna go get Griffin out of bed. He's waking up. Good morning. Come here, let me get you. Griffin, did you know you're getting a big brother today? I mean, a little, you're gonna be the big brother. You're getting a little brother today. Yeah. I made my son his typical breakfast of eggs, pancakes, and bananas. How are you feeling this morning? Big stuff has happened today. Big things. And then my dad wanted to show off his cheesy t-shirt because he's really embracing his new title as grandpa. Getting your third grandchild today. How do you feel? See my grandpa shirt? Papa, man, the myth, the legend. So you're ready for this moment. I'm ready. I'm gonna go remind Abby that she can't drink any water this morning. You haven't drank any water today, right? No. Good, because you can't do that, unfortunately. You look cute. Your bump is bumping. You look like when the Grinch is in his robe and his belly's popping out. Actually, <laughs> I'm not going. You feel nervous, excited, a little bit of both. I think the yeah. word is anticipation. Like, this is just such a big day. We're meeting someone that's gonna be a major part of our life for the rest of our life. Even now, knowing how much Griffin means to us, it's just like even more overwhelming than the last time. In yeah, a way. it is super comforting because we've been through this once, so we know how this oh, works. Yeah. And sure, it could be harder this time around, mm -hmm. but like, Knowing what to expect is huge. Cause I'm just aware of like how to hold a baby and like know how to change a diaper. I don't have to figure out all those things for the first time. Yeah, we were literally clueless the first time. You're doing great. <laughs> Looking cute. You're doing your makeup? Yeah. Love you. I tried to soak up as much time with my son Griffin as possible because this was our last morning together, just the two of us. But again, it was hard for me to fully process everything because it felt like this day just snuck up on us. Okay, I put on my makeup. Puts me in better spirits to have my makeup on. Like, it's fun for me. It makes it quick. If I can, I might as well bring it along. It just feels so good to start off like so prepared and fresh. It's kind of like the advantage of having a scheduled C-section. It's like you're rested, you're not thrown off. Minus the, I do have to be fasted right now. Hey, it's okay. I don't think I'm gonna be hungry anyway. I'm gonna be thinking about the baby and probably so pumped full of meds that I don't even feel hungry. We are running late as usual. That's our hospital bag. I need to grab a few more things. I'm pretty fast at packing. Okay. You're gonna need Sorry. this today. Oh, I need my wallet. We had a massive fiasco with health insurance for our first birth, so we paid in advance for this one. Wouldn't it be nice to live in Canada right now where they have free health care? Don't even go there. <laughs> Thanks for the help, Dad. Thanks, Mom. Hey, love, love you guys. You guys. Let's do this. We are in the car. I wrote our son this song. I'm gonna sing it for Abby because I feel like she deserves to hear it. I've been trying to keep mentally strong today. This is gonna wreck me. I already know it. I admit all my plans. Thought I had it figured out by it. It was out of my hands. Funny how life turns upside down in. Okay, we made it in the room. Pretty fancy. We got some windows. I literally do not feel like I'm about to have a baby. Like, Same. I'm just like, okay, where are we gonna go to lunch? Like, I don't know. <laughs> it just feels like any other day. They're like, okay, like take off all your clothes, put on your gown, and then like sanitize the incision area. Like they're giving us like medical instructions, and I'm just like, okay, fine. It's not that I'm serious. like, I'm like, can they trust us? Hopefully we don't mess this up. I guess you have to get in the gown, take everything off, and I can help you with your socks. I got you. Thank you, sir. I've never done this before. I've never been through a C-section, so I'm guessing that the C-section is like in an operation room. I don't think it's gonna happen in here. This is cool. I don't know what this, this TV means. I don't know what all that is. I think we're gonna leave this room and we're gonna come back and when we're back, I think they're gonna put our little baby right there um, under the light, I think. I could be wrong. Oh, also, Abby got me this new outfit for my birthday. It's my new Lululemon shirt and my Lululemon shorts. Whoa, your belly though. Oh, is that the key? Yeah. He set a timer for a minute and a half. Yeah. So I can wipe my belly for a minute and a half. Okay, started our timer for a minute and a half. Abby has to wipe down her incision area. I think it's lower than I think it's gonna be. So. Where is that gonna even, yeah, I don't even know. Do you have underwear on right now? 
Yeah. Okay, good. I was like, I don't. I hope I don't flash the camera or anything. And she's in a gown. <laughs> I think about hospital gowns. I think about those like it's funny. It's so funny to pull it up. Like... Oh, sorry. No, you should have it up all the way here. Why? The top, but all the cool kids are. No, doing. it doesn't. The high socks. <laughs> what were you saying? I was thinking about those. You like open the car and then this person in the hospital gown and it's like their butt cheeks are out. Or like the Halloween costume. Yes, we have a YouTube gown. video like that. You put on the That's Halloween costume and your butt cheeks were showing. That's me right now. They weren't real butt cheeks. I wish those were good cheeks. Yeah. <laughs> what did I say to them? You said I love you. I said I love you in the middle of the night. Yeah. I know that I said that, but I mean it. I've started to sleep talk more. I'll wake up in the middle of the night. I'm like, who should our next podcast guest be? It's so bad. I need to turn my brain off. Your brain was going crazy? Yeah, thinking about the podcast. I thought you were about to say the baby. Okay, I just figured out what this all means. Right here is Abby's contractions. She's literally having them right now, even though we're doing a C-section. It's not a vaginal delivery. And we can hear the baby's heartbeat. Whoa, it jumped. I'm having a contraction right now. Are you okay? Yeah. Sorry that you're dealing with that. It's literally not. Powerful. Yeah, I can tell. Getting ready? Yeah. It snuck up on us. An hour ago, you we were just chilling, and now it's like surgery time. You're gonna do so good. I don't really have to do anything. Boss me around after the surgery's over. Like, I'm here to take care of you. I just you want must... you to fill in wherever I need yeah, you. Yeah, totally. Okay, I have my scrubs on, got a mask on. I'm just so excited to meet this baby. Um, Abby's so tough, so I know that she's gonna be cool through all this. We just walked through this hallway right here came through those doors, Abby came out of that bed, and now she's back in this room. This is the room that I'm in right now. Random magazines to read, just chilling by all this medical equipment. And then I'm guessing this is like a cleaning station after surgery is finished. But yeah, Abby just went in. Yay, I'm so excited, yay! Oh my God! This is so exciting. All right, the tension going up. I think he looks just like Griffin. Oh, um, August. He's so precious. I love him so much. Are you excited to meet him? Yes. I love you. I'm still not ready. Cute buddy. Don't have the So cute. Oh. Yay. It's okay. It's okay. Doing good, Abby? Good. I love you. He's precious. I think I'm falling in love. I think I'm falling in love. I think I'm falling in love. I'm falling in love